Hi everyone, I'm Ava, I'm Deputy Beauty Editor at Sunday Time Style and I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect, curly, bouncy, juicy, lustrous hair. So my curly hair journey is quite similar to a lot of other people's. I had it in plaits all the time when I was growing up and I never wore it out and that meant that it grew until my waist. The hairdresser cut it all off when I was 12 and straightened it and that is when the obsession with heat began. I just wanted long hair again like every teenage girl does so I then straightened it for years and years and years. I would stay up late every Sunday night blow drying it, straightening it so that it would be perfectly polka straight for school the next week and I avoided rain, I avoided swimming pools, life was not fun. And then I discovered the natural hair community. Lots of girls taught me how to take care of my natural hair, what products I needed to make it happy and healthy. It changed my whole life because it made me really happy with the hair I had. And right now I wouldn't change my hair for anything. This is what I'm currently working with. I don't know what my fringe is doing. I don't know what this bun is doing. I'm ready to just get up in there to detangle, give it some moisturization, just not look like this anymore. So for this you're gonna need coconut oil, all natural, extra virgin, organic. You're also gonna need a hair mask. Today I'm gonna try something different from my regular crowd. I'm actually gonna try this one. Yes, it is unidentifiable, but it's actually a Cantu strengthening hair mask. And this is left over from when I went traveling, which seems like a very distant memory. Then you'll need a shower cap. You'll need a curl cream and a curl gel, a microfiber towel or an old t-shirt or an old pillowcase, whatever you have that isn't a normal towel. Salt spray. Yes, you can use salt spray on curly hair. It's actually really good on curly hair. This one is from a brand called Herbivore and it's all natural. A silk turban or a silk pillowcase. This one is from Only Curls and a wide tooth comb. Okay, one of my hair masks has leaked on my top. It looks really bad. So my first step is <laughs> putting coconut oil on before I shampoo. The lengths of our hair don't actually need to be washed as vigorously as our scalp does. My hair is bleached, so I do like to coat my ends with coconut oil to kind of protect it from the shampoo. And then as the shampoo rinses down, it just gently removes most of the coconut oil. I scoop out about that much. Warm it up with your hands. Fun fact about coconut oil. Most oils will sit on the outside of your hair and coat them, which can be really good for locking in moisture if you've put products on before that. It seals all your products in, but coconut oils is one of the only oils that has a really small molecular structure, so it actually is absorbed by your hair rather than just sitting on top of it. When you detangle, always start from the bottom and work your way up, otherwise you're just creating more knots as you go like that. And that's it. I'm never leaving my hair in a bun for three days ever again because I always have to pay for it when I take that bun down. So I'd either leave this in overnight and then wash my hair the next day, but I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to take my little travel sized Cantu one. So I'm really generous with this. And add some extra to the areas which need a lot more love. And this is the time you want to detangle, so I'm taking my trusty wide tooth comb. <laughs> and be really gentle. I'm not sure why I'm whispering. See? You can see the curls forming already. Look at that. The next step is to give it the optimum environment to absorb all of the hair mask. So put mine up into a bun, not too tight because your hair is wet and it is quite fragile. And I've missed out a piece, classic. So next step is to break out the trusty shower cap. So this is plastic on the inside and what that does is lock in all of the heat that's coming out from your scalp and it creates like a mini sauna steam room situation and that heat opens up your hair shaft and lets the mask just absorb and soak right in so your hair gets all the benefits from the inside out. 
So I'll pop this on. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this in, relax for a bit, and then I'm gonna come back with rinsed out, cold, soaking wet hair. My hair is soaking wet. And the reason why it's soaking wet versus being damp is because it just absorbs product better. I'm taking my curl cream, swirling my palms, and just gently add it. Again, focusing on those dry areas. And curly hair's drier than other hair types, so it doesn't matter too much if you get it near the roots. You just don't want to be massaging the products into the scalp. And then next, I take some kind of gel. I like to mix my gels with a little bit of water just to make sure they're not too sticky or they're not gonna make my hair too crunchy when they dry. Just like really gently like gliding it. Notice I'm not raking my hands through my hair because that's gonna split the curls up too much. You're gonna end up with quite a lot of frizz and like not much definition. This helps the curls to just kind of clump together. I really like to scrunch around my fringe as well because that doesn't always wanna curl. Ooh. And then to finish off all the styling products, you want a really nourishing oil. And I just add literally one squirt just to my ends because my hair gets weighed down really easily. Scrunch that into the ends because you need a bit of love. It also helps protect them as the day goes on. So those of you with curly hair and wavy hair know how good it looks after a day at the beach. There's something about salt water that just agrees with curly hair so well. Literally do a couple sprays. Mm, it smells amazing. As I'm blotting my hair with a towel, I'm also scrunching it. There's no rubbing, you don't wanna do this. You just wanna gently squeeze it. Now you've got two options. You can either leave it to air dry, which is what I usually do because I'm lazy and also it's a bit healthier for your hair. Or you can diffuse. For the sake of this video, I'm going to diffuse. I've got my trusty hair dryer with a diffuser. It's really important for curly hair because diffusers diffuse the air more gently so that you don't get it blown in those directions and it helps keep your curls intact. To minimise heat damage, I'm gonna use warm, not hot heat, and I'm gonna use sort of like a medium airflow just to dry it quite quickly. So my hair is pretty much dry. I like my hair to look a bit more beachy. I'm gonna take the diffuser off and just rough dry all over my roots and it will help break my curls up a little bit. Now my hair is definitely dry. I'm gonna add even more volume to it. But this is my trusty Afro pick. What this does is it kind of lifts the hair and fluffs it out at the roots to give a bit more life and volume. So I will just Flip my hair around like an absolute head banger, like I'm at a slash concert. I know this looks like it hurts, but it doesn't. It's like a really nice scalp massage. It's a little worry. <laughs> okay, and that is basically it. We want to make sure that these curls will last for day two, day three day four, sometimes even day five after washing. So before I go to bed, I always, always put on my silk turban. And I'll literally, before bed, dab all my hair forward, slide this on, make sure I've got all the perimeters. See, we don't want that because that's just gonna tangle up while you sleep. Just make sure it's all tucked away. So once you're looking fabulous and fantastic this is quite a look if i say so myself and i'll show you how my hair looks when i wake up good morning so i've just woken up with my trusty turban on and let's see what's underneath <laughs> this so my hair usually looks like this when i wake up it's not going to be perfect straight away but i'll leave it to settle usually while i wash my face and do my makeup and then after half an hour it's kind of settled back to how it looked yesterday thanks for watching my curly hair routine i hope it helps you with your curl journey and 
yeah, let those curls flourish.